So here it is. The it's uh, now about an hour, two hours, hour and a half later. Um, the uh, toe puff is now dry, but it's still mellow. And it's at a stage where it's still slightly damp, and it's quite malleable. When it's at that stage, it can be uh, by using a hammer or by using a, uh, a bone. Excuse me. Using a bone, you can mold the shape quite easily. And it can only be done at the stage when the leather is semi, semi dry. If it's too wet, it just bounces back. If it's too dry, it doesn't move at all. So now I can take the two rivets out. And the uh, next stage is to put in side linings. So side linings uh, run from the stiffener to the toe puff at the edge, up to the edge of the wall. And what they do is they create a thicker space, uh, runs underneath, creates a thicker leather on the sides of the shoe than on the, on the top, which forces the creasing to happen on the top. So what we're going to do is, here's our uh, uh, side lining. It runs from there to there. It's a bit longer than, the, than we need. And uh, so sky it. So that fits on there, and then I scribe the other side, scared, scribe the high, the hair side off. This is to give a good gluing surface to the other side. So it means when it's built into the shoe that it'll stick really well. And then a bit of glue there, a bit of glue. The thing, the difference between a side lining and a toe puff or a stiffener is the side lining isn't glued on. It's not a laminate shell. It, uh, it sits loose between the lining and the upper. So what it's doing is it's providing extra strength on the side of the shoe and uh, it moves, it stops the creasing happening here so the creasing happens on the top. And here's the one I've done for the. Yeah. Put that up in there. Okay, so there we have the toe puff, side linings, and now it's time to put the vamp down on, pull the vamp into position. So get the paste onto the tip of the side linings and over the whole of the toe cap. So should bring that further forward. Get the paste up in there. Now just slide the uh, vamp forward over the, uh, make sure you don't get a crease in the side linings. Now here's the other side. What we've got to do is we make sure that the caps are the same, otherwise the shoes will look odd. So that cap from the back one is 77. And this one at the moment, it hasn't been tensioned, is 85, so we've got some room to pull. So while the, uh, while the paste is still wet, the upper slides very easily over top of it. And let's just check that measure. That's 80, so just pull it a bit further. 78. 
Yep, yeah, there's 78. So pull over the lateral side. In the medial. Okay. So that's lying down really nicely. Let's just begin to walk, just, just like the same as the others. Walk the creases around. <coughs> Last check of that measure. Seventy-eight. That's what we want. You see that all right? Oh yeah, so I'll just uh, check the dimension again. I think we missed that. Just to make sure it's 78. So, yep, it comes out exactly 78. So it's a good match to... Yeah, that's a good match. Nice pair, yeah. And, uh, Okay, so that's finished that. Now I trim the skirt so there's not excess leather. Again, just uh, get in the neoprene under the uh, between the lining and the upper. <coughs> Tucked well in right under those rivets. It's a bit come out there. Make sure it's a good amount. You don't want it coming up. So let that dry.
finally just split each one of these uh, little uh, ridges that's sticking out. So the one that goes between the, the two just uh, flattens the little ridge and then when the leather's dry you've got a nice flat surface to sew your welt onto. So there's two uh, finished shoes. <laughs> Leave them on the last for about hopefully a week, if not uh, three or four days. Pull the last, try them on the customer, and uh, when they're ready, fill, shank, put on the soles, and got a pair of shoes. Thanks very much.